Welcome to the Brian Wright Audio Experience, a podcast dedicated to helping entrepreneurs grow their business, make more money, and successfully navigate through the chaos of life, all while working, spending, and stressing less. And now your host, he's a husband, a father of two, an international business and life coach, and a trusted motivational speaker for some of the most respected companies in the world, such as Invisalign and many others. Brian Wright. Hey, everybody. Welcome inside the broadcast booth. Hope you're doing great out there. Just getting back from a little Sacramento trip, going out to see a customer of mine, Richard Portalupe. Had a great time with Rich. Uh, spending time with the team, doing some culture building, some team training, installing some hospitality, some salesmanship into the business. Went great. Uh, did a nice cooking job Friday night. We cooked together. He had some uh, friends over to the house. Uh, so that was uh, fantastic. Hey, good news. So Invisalign just let me know. So January 19th, uh, those of you over in Miami, we're going to be doing an event uh, together on January 19th, obviously next year. And uh, looking forward to seeing so many of the fans over there. And hey, look, as you've heard on the first couple podcasts, I've had a podcast for many years over in the orthodontic space, the New Patient Group podcast. And, you know, it took a season or two to really get rolling. And if you look at now, we just finished up season six. We're really into our groove over there. And the way we do that, that, um, that setup, if you will, it's a contemporary radio show. I come out with a new episode, a new podcast, uh, right around the first business day of every month. This one is going to be kind of a, bl- a kind of a blend. I see, you know, as we are kicking this off, as I said, last podcast, we have no idea what we're doing as far as what the, you know, what the order is going to be, how often we're going to come out with, you know, eventually we'll come out with a schedule, you know, as an example, Monday morning, there'll be a new one every week, that kind of thing. Right now we're just flowing. As I said, uh, on the last podcast, a lot of it's just about getting back and and doing it, seeing how it goes, refining things, you know, are, are people, are they liking the message? You need to refine it, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but we're rolling here. Uh, we're on our third podcast now. We've got a couple YouTube shorts up on the YouTube station. As I said, the YouTube station is brand new. Uh, we went hiking uh, the other day, uh, did a nice video there. Today, went and walked the dog up in a little mountain here in Colorado Springs, uh, did another one. And we're just going to flow, you know, eventually uh, this will all get smoothed out and there's going to be, you know, shorter podcasts. There's going to be more contemporary radio show podcasts where I go an hour and a half on a topic. But right now we're just kind of setting standard. You know, we want to get as many uh, topics out there, as many different things that we can to get your mindset shifted and starting to think differently about your life, your career, entrepreneurs out there, how to run the business. Like I said, in the very first episode, we teach something um, that, 99% 99% of people will not do. As a business owner, 99% of entrepreneurs will not do what they learn on this podcast. Uh, the 1% is, is the famous companies, right? They have a recipe that we're going to teach on this, comp- on this podcast. And part of that recipe is leadership. You know, if you look at you know, all the things that fall under culture, leadership, mindset, innovation, uh, self-improvement, I mean, the list goes on and on. It's somewhat endless that falls under that culture bucket, that culture pillar, if you will. Uh, Today, I want to talk about leadership. Won't be long, but it's something that is, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's on the top of my list from how passionate I am, but it's pretty damn close. And it's talking about the one thing you need to ask yourself if you want to know if you're doing your job as a leader. There's a lot of different trainings, a lot of different coaching sessions, a lot of different podcasts that we're going to talk about on here as far as leadership and getting the most out of your people. Uh, Today's a simple and a short one. Leadership out there you know, if you're the CEO of a company, a chief operational officer, um, if you're in a position where maybe you're mid-level management, which is the most difficult place to be, maybe um, shout out Jonathan out there. Hey, buddy, you know, mid-level management for Dell, great company based out of Austin. Um, you know, mid-level management, I believe I'm going to talk a little bit on today why mid-level management is so difficult, or maybe uh, you're not even that high. Maybe you're just running a team and you want to learn how to get more out of yourself in order to get more out of that team. Uh, the question you need to inevitably ask yourself, and this is really what different, differentiates between a boss and a manager and a leader, and there's a lot of different things, but one of the biggest ones is your job as a leader is, are you making other people better? And I'm going to repeat that. The question you need to ask yourself on whether or not you're doing your job and you're being an, an exceptional leader is, are you making other people better? This is an interesting topic because there are so many, whether you, know, you, you look over, I'm going to make a lot of orthodontic references on this podcast, because those of you uh, that follow along know that 
that my name and my niche um, on the entrepreneur and the business owner side is been in orthodontics for many, many years. And just recently now we're branching out into, you know, the, the true entrepreneur world, let's call it. And a big part of what I teach over there is all around how to get the most thing out of people. You know, whether you're, again, the CEO, uh, if as a leader, you got to look at yourself as a coach, your job is to make other people better. And that's not what happens a lot of times over in the orthodontic space. You have, you know, office managers, you have a clinical assistant that's really good at their job. So they get promoted. And now they're in charge of the other clinical assistants. Uh, you have a front desk girl that's been there 10 years, so she's put in charge of the admin team as an example. Uh, but the reality is, is that there's no leadership training that then comes with that. And that is why mid-level, mid-level management is so difficult because you are in a leadership role, but you're not technically in charge because you're not the chief operational officer, you're not the chief executive officer, you're not the business owner, you're not the founder, but you still are in charge of the people that are in charge of your customer in some form or fashion. What happens so many times is we get training on, you know, you take Invisalign, who I speak for, just as an example, you know, you take a rep and when the rep comes aboard Invisalign and Johnson and Johnson, they hire actually a lot of people from Johnson and Johnson. Uh, my chief operational officer with new patient group over in orthodontics, a uh, two, two time president's club winner with Johnson and Johnson and got hired by Align technology makers of Invisalign and then won four times president's club winner at Align. But the point there is those two companies have absolutely impeccable, extraordinary sales training for their people. So you get hired as a rep and you guys listening out there, you can relate this to any small business or larger business. You get hired because then they have a training program. And then if you excel at that training program and you become one of the best salespeople, what happens? Next thing you know, now you're in charge of a sales team, but guess what happens? The training stops. So now you are in the most important position you've ever been in in your life, but there is no training on how to be an exceptional leader. And a big part of what we're going to be delivering on this podcast is that training, how to be somebody that knows they are making other people better. I mean, let's think about this for a second from a a basketball sports analogy. What's the job of a coaching staff to develop and make their players better? And what happens as an organic result of that is those players get to make more money whenever they sign a new contract. They're able to offer more value to their organization. They're able to grow um, from a athletic, from an athlete point of view. And I would argue, and this is a podcast in itself and an all day workshop in itself, what I'm about to say, but I would argue that the best coaches in sports, no differently than the best leaders inside organizations are actually more worried about the personal lives of that human and helping them develop and becoming a better overall human. Because I will tell you, they're not separated, meaning that the better human you are in your personal life, you will be a better performer at work. And that is in any job whatsoever. And many athletes will tell you, uh, especially the great ones, that what they admired most about their greatest coaches that they list isn't the X's and O's, isn't the playbook, isn't anything like that. It's how they help them off the field, off the court. And that is, like I said, a podcast in itself and not the topic today, but that is part of making other people better. It's not just the inside your office, whatever that may be. It's, are you showing empathy? Are you diving into their lives? Are you finding out ways to motivate them? Are you communicating differently based on the individual personality? How are you getting the most out of them? Yes, inside the office, but also how are you impacting and changing their life? Now, some of it are intertwined, meaning, like I said, with the athlete, as the coach develops the athlete, as as long as that athlete is coachable and they become better, they're able to make more money in their next contract. That is what you're doing, which helps their personal life, obviously. Same way with you as you're developing people, making them better. When they go in for promotions or ask for raises, they're more likely to get them, which you're also having an impact on their lives. But you've also got to be that person they remember having an impact on their personal life, which in turn helped their business career as well. Don't forget that piece of it. I mean, look at it this way. We are so worried about X's and O's and the numbers and the metrics that we can see on paper, but we have no control over Right. So as managers, and this is one way to know if you're a manager and a boss rather than a leader, it's just constantly, you know, sell more computers, sell more computers. We didn't reach our quota, sell more Invisalign. You didn't reach your Invisalign numbers. This is way 
uh, these organizations, and this trickles down to small business owners out there, which is the majority of our of our listening group, our fans, our followers, is the entrepreneur. But it also goes way beyond that. You know, like I said in the first episode, it's reps, it's employees in mid management that are stuck in this world where their company is not providing any kind of guidance whatsoever other than, hey, look, dude, you need to make sure your team is selling more of this and making the quotas and making the numbers. It's not empathy. It's not about people. It's not about the things that you can't control. It, it, it's not, or excuse me, it's not about the things that you can control. And that is what this whole podcast, among many other things, is about is focusing on being badass at the things you can control. And one of the things the greatest leaders do in their process of making others better is those things that you can control, right? Coaching people, helping them get better, role-playing with them, holding them accountable, no different than you would your own kid, right? Learning about their life. Maybe they've had a tragedy in their life and it's affecting them and therefore it's affecting their work. Well, guess what? If their numbers are down and you don't give a damn about that, you're just going to go in as a boss and say, what the hell's going on, Joey? You need to make more sales. Meanwhile, Joey's life is falling apart and you don't know because you don't care. And that is being a crappy leader. That is called being a boss and a manager that sure as hell is not making other people better. So you may not be a position that's technically in a leadership role right now as it stands to, as it stands today, but that does not mean you still can't be a leader by helping other people get better at what they do. And that is the question that you need to leave this podcast and ask yourself is that when you leave work every day, are you making other people better? Are you giving them a chance to grow their career, improve their skill sets, the opportunity to make more money, the opportunity to take your job someday because now you've gotten promoted up to an even higher level? That is a question you should be asking yourself. You know, many people, if you go back into the orthodontic world um, that, that I was talking about earlier, you know, many people think they offer value to an organization by having everything in their head, right? And this happens in orthodontics a lot, but it also happens in restaurants that I've worked with and many other companies that I've consulted with is you have make-believe name Betty. And Betty doesn't want to make anybody better because she thinks that lessens the value she provides the business, right? She's got, you know, how to file insurance and the practice management software and training protocols and all these things in their inner head. But she doesn't want to get them on paper. She doesn't want to groom, grow, promote. She doesn't want to make other people better because she thinks that actually lessens the value she offers the organization. And I pray to God, those of you listening out there, you don't have that mindset because it's such a loser mindset. It's such a short-term, small-minded mindset. But that, unfortunately, is how most managers and most bosses are. And this, by the way, leadership, you'll learn on here, is a trainable, coachable skill set. I've said that in the previous podcast as well. It's a learnable, coachable skill set. Now, some people have intangibles that make them natural leaders, but those people still need to be coached on tough conversations, motivational conversations, how you make Joe and Samantha better than they are, you know, how you make them better today than they were yesterday. This is such a topic that I look to dive into. I look forward to diving into so many hundreds of episodes that's going to be more in depth about this topic, but leave today. Ask yourself every single day, are you striving to make other people better so they can grow their career, improve their life, improve their lifestyle? If they go and ask for a promotion, they're more likely to get it because you are giving them the skill sets, the mindset, all those things that make an exceptional leader. Are you striving to make other people better? Question one. Two is, are you making other people better? Those are two very different things. I want you to ask yourself those. I want you to answer those. And if the answer is no, you need to shift your mind on what can I do better to be a better leader in helping other people get better, advance their career, advance their life. Now, again, I want to reiterate, this is not only for people that are quote unquote in a managerial role, you know, where you have people under you. This is for anybody. You know, a janitor can walk into any business and they can help make people at their level better. I have some great stories about some hotels that I've stayed in traveling around the country uh, that just are just protrude everything that we teach. And I can't wait to talk about those and, and the leadership and culture things that are going on inside those, hel- those hotels to make things so much better that most businesses do not do. So are you striving to make other people better? Are you making other people better? Those are the two questions to answer. We'll see you soon on The Brian Wright Show with another podcast soon. See you later. Bye-bye.